What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Dragon Ball Super SH Figure Arts Hit. And so here we have Hit posing out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his accessories really fast. Hit does come with four different head sculpts. We do get his stern neutral expression which does look good. We do get a scowling expression. We get an expression where he's gritting his teeth. Then we get an expression where he's yelling. He also comes with a pair of fists, a pair of flat palmed hands, a pair of relaxed grip hands, a pair of hands for his fighting pose, a pair of key blasting hands. Then we get a right blaster hand. And to go with that, we do get a blast effect, which looks really nice. It also comes with two different chest pieces. He does come with a white chest piece and then a narrower chest piece for style posing. He also includes two different skirt pieces. He does have the normal one where his hands are out of his pockets. Then we do get one where he has his hands in his pockets and those look really nice. Overall, he comes with nothing else, but I think what he comes with is very good and I like the accessories a lot. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually take a closer look at Hit. And so here we have a closer look at Hit, and I really love the work that they did with this figure. His face looks spot on to the anime, and that is very impressive. I do like the two-tone of purple that is on him. We do have the lighter shade right here on his face, and then we do have a lighter shade where his ears would be, and then the darker shade throughout the rest of the head. And then we do have his piercing red eyes, and those look spectacular. Really good job there. He kind of reminds me of Cell, if you were to do that. He kind of does look like Cell in a little bit. But yeah, really do like Hit here. He's a very nice little figure, and all the heads are done on him really nicely. Although, I don't really see Hit as an expressive character, and I think this is probably his best head sculpt. If not, this really angry skull could be his best head sculpt. It just depends on how you want to have Hit. But they did a really fantastic job with this figure. Now, I didn't mention his accessories. He does come with two chest pieces. He comes with a chest piece that you see on him right now, which gives him a wider chest. And then he does come with this chest piece, which if you can see right here, it does curve a little more inward than this one. And this one actually helps with posing his arms because Hit has a lot of poses with his arms that he does. And with this chest piece, you really don't get the full range of articulation because it tends to butt up against itself. And I'll show that off when we actually talk about articulation. But yeah, really do like that. Shoulder pads are done really nicely. I do like the design of Hit here. Now, one thing I'm not a fan of is how they designed his coat or his skirt piece, whatever you want to call it. His jacket here is nicely sculpted. I do like it. But the engineering on it is kind of kind of confusing to be quite honest. If you look at his belt, his belt is a free floating piece and that's not a bad thing but when you look at the way the skirt piece is, it only attaches with one tab right here. Now the problem with it is that this is soft plastic and it's a very soft plastic at that. So getting those tabs in perfectly, it's kind of tricky and getting them to stay there is even more of a hassle. And then moving his leg around, you can just imagine that do that does pop these off a lot easier. So yeah, they could have engineered this a little bit better. I would have liked it if the belt piece connected to the rest of his coat and we had two different coat pieces that you just pop his torso off and then replace it right here. I think that would have been a much better solution than what we got here. It still looks nice and I know they did it just to free up their articulation but if you get too crazy with it these just pop off way too easy and that's my one and only gripe about Hit. I do have a gripe with the quality control on mine. The left arm is completely frozen at this elbow joint. This one does bend quite easily, but the top one just doesn't want to bend. And just to show you how easy it should be to bend, that's how easy it should be to bend. The left arm is completely frozen on mine, which is unfortunate. It's not the end of the world, but you can see mm, doesn't want to go. Yeah, that's a little bit of a disappointment there. And when I got him out of the package, his ball joint here at the wrist was also frozen but I managed to unfreeze it. Overall really like the color scheme on Hit. This really dark and very uh, opaque. Is, it, is opaque the right word for the aqua? The very deep aqua does stand out really nicely against his lighter purple skin. 
he did a very nice job just sculpting his detail here you can see all his abdomen I think that's supposed to be like armor I don't think that's his actual torso and then we do have some more panel lining back here really do like the lining on his coat here so yeah they did a fantastic job with hit and then you see the pattern on his coat continue on with his boots it looks really good really liking this figure and he does have two-toned boots right there you can see the lighter shade at the soles so overall hits very impressive I like the detailing on him I think the only problem I really have with mine besides the uh, arm right there is the fact that his uh, coat piece isn't done as nice as it should be it still gets a job done but yeah it's not for like messing around with him too often so that is a little bit unfortunate so with that out of the way guys let's actually get hit compared to other figures you may have in your collection and so here we have hit posed next to a marvel legend cyclops and a dc multiverse superman here we have hit posed next to a wwe elite scale figure and a masco 112 collective popeye the sailor man and finally, here we do have Hit Pose next to Lightning Collection, White Ranger, and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. So with the comparisons out of the way, guys, let's actually move on to Hit's articulation. Now, Hit does have a barbell joint here at the head. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't really work all too well because his coat collar does get in the way. That's about as far back as he can look, and that's about as far down as he can look on that ball joint. And... It's not a lot of clearance to be quite honest, that's as much head tilt as he gets. He can turn his head left and right, but you can see he bumps up against the collar of his coat here. He does have another ball joint here in the neck, which does let him move his head down a little bit more. Can tilt his head side to side a little bit better, but it's not the greatest range of movement, unfortunately. Now, I do have him with the narrow chest piece right here, and the reason I have it with him is to show off this butterfly joint, which if you have him with the narrow piece, his arm does come all the way across his chest so I do like that if you have it with the regular one his arm only comes up to about right there so yeah you can see arm comes right across no problems no issues I do like that it is on a ball joint so it does pivot down and up does pivot back and forth it does go all the way around no problems there the shoulder pad is on a hinge ball joint, so it does hinge and have its own ball joint to work with. Kind of looks strange, especially because his shoulder is basically cut in half, and this does move around freely, but you can get that to look quite normal, so I do like that. He does have a bicep swivel here at the bicep. Now, like I said, the left arm on mine is frozen, but he should have a double jointed elbow, which does go all the way up like that. Then he does have a swivel and hinge here at the wrist, so you can have him with the up and down hinge. And then we can rotate that to have an in and out hinge. He has a fantastic ball joint here in the torso. Now going back, not the best that we've ever seen. And I always say that I'd rather have forward mobility than backwards mobility. This figure has forward mobility just look at how far he's bending just on that top joint alone uh we don't really get too much swivel right there and it's not too much side to side you're mainly going to get a crunch right there and it's a very impressive ab crunch right there going back this is where most of the arching back hinge is there's a hinge ball joint right here at his waist crunching forward he gets even more arc right there so I do like that and then we get some more tilting right there and I'm just going to take that off so we can go over his leg articulation yeah like I said it's just that one little tab that holds everything together for this coat piece so not a fan of that but as far as his legs go when you don't have them with the coat on legs go all the way up like that they go back to about right there they go out almost as a full split so that is really nice swivel at the thigh no problem double bend at the knee giving us much better than 90 degrees so i do like that no boot cut swivel but we do have rotation here at the ankle as well as a hinge which looks really good then we get forward facing pen for rocker ankle and because it does rotate on that joint we can rotate that for a true rocker ankle so i do like that 
and then finally hit does have a toe hinge so overall hit here has some pretty good articulation and it's better than we've seen on some dragon ball figures it is a little bit unfortunate that mine does have that stuck joint which makes posing his left arm a little bit of a hassle but i do have workarounds for that so there is that so overall hit is very impressive so what we're going to do now is get him pose for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review and so here we have hit pose for my final thoughts and overall Bandai has done a fantastic job with this figure. This is one of the better SH figure arts Dragon Ball figures that I've had a look at. Despite the fact I'm not a fan of how they did his coat, it's still an impressive look. As you can see the two pieces that have his hands in the pocket as well as not in the pocket do work very well together and if they did it the way I suggested you couldn't get poses like that so it is give and take and if once you get him posed it's not that big a deal seeing as how it doesn't fall out just by him standing there moving him around does cause the pieces to fall out a little bit too easy but there's ways to work around that what they should have done is made the pocket hands a little more firm and then the one where he doesn't have his hands in his pockets a softer plastic but overall this is still a very nice figure and I love the way Hit came out. Hit here is unfortunately only available on Premium Bandai website now. If you didn't pre-order Hit when you had the chance, you are going to have to go to a second-hand market to get this figure. Originally Hit here was $70, which was a fair pricing. Is how he's a completely new sculpt and he has a lot of new parts to him and everything on him looks really nice. I think $70 was a nice price tag for Hit. However, getting him from second-hand website or retail like a big bad toy store you're looking to pay an upwards of a hundred dollars for a hit and unfortunately that's just the way it is because such a popular character Bandai decided to make him an exclusive figure I would have much preferred him being in the general line because hit is a very popular fan character and it does boggle the mind on why you would release a character as popular as hit as an exclusive figure but nonetheless still very happy that they made a hit that I don't have to track down at Dragon Star to have him in my collection which I am very relieved. Hit here is a fantastic addition for any Dragon Ball collector so if you haven't already picked him up try to find one at a decent price and you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching everybody don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe to my channel check out all my other action figure videos as well as all my other Dragon Ball and SH figure art videos hopefully you find them informative as always if there's a figure you would like to see me review let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection I'll gladly have a look at it while you're at it check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos and as always ring that bell to be notified every time I have I upload a video until next time guys I'll see you later take care everyone